Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. You know, you've been watching the news, I'm sure, like I have, um, about what's going on in Iraq with this splinter group of Al-Qaeda taking over Mosul, taking over the, uh, what is it, Bakri or Baki or something, the, uh, the oil refinery town, uh, taken to Crete. Samara and Baghdad are next, I would think, on their agenda. <clears throat> and, you know, the, the Iraqi army is basically just disintegrating uh, as they've done the last two times they fought anybody in the face of uh, <clears throat> someone coming after them. They're just melting, uh, throwing down the weapons that we bought, uh, discarding the uniforms that we bought, uh, disregarding the training uh, that, that we gave them for years. Uh, they're worthless. They're worthless. And now they're screaming, send us aid, send us bombers, send us, you know, fighter planes or whatever. And it's interesting that I find myself on the stated side of Obama, President Obama. You know, I, I'm not political in that way. I don't like President Obama. I think he's bad for our country. I think his policies are bad for our country. And on my bad days, I think he's actually trying to hurt our country. Um, but just because of that, that doesn't mean I automatically disagree as a knee-jerk reaction with everything he does. I agree with him. We have no business going back into Iraq. I was just listening to Rush Limbaugh on the radio a little while ago, and he's like, rah, 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 rah. And you know, these right-wing people are trying to spin people up into let's go back in there. Forget that. We got no business there. Let those people sort it out themselves. You know, it's basically a Sunni Shia thing anyway, and we're not gonna fix that. They gotta fix that or it won't get fixed. Let them go. And here's the other thing, who cares? I mean, unless you're a soldier, sailor, airman, marine, or, uh, you know, very close to one, and, and some of us are, um, but unless you have a personal interest in combat, if you will, abroad, uh, there's nothing you can do about it, and there's nothing that, that it matters to you. And so focus on your own self, you know, focus on your circle, focus on your people. Well, what do you set like for food? Gas is gonna go up. I was thinking about that today. Obviously gas is gonna go up. Whenever there's an excuse, uh, the gas prices go up. But there's really nothing you can do about that. Even if you went out right now and filled up your tank, what do you got, 20, 50 gallons? You know, even if you have 10 uh, five gallon cans, uh, if gas goes up two bucks and you got 10 five gallon cans, you're gonna save a hundred bucks if you get gas now. You know, big deal. You're not gonna do anything. Um, just continue to work your own preparedness plans. This is just the world, you know, nation against nation, um, kingdom against kingdom. That's all that's happening. It, the, the end is not yet, you know. We got time, uh, but we don't have a lot of time. And so start amping up your preparations, your physical preparations, your uh, spiritual preparation. Start getting right with the Most High. Uh, start getting right with your pantry. Get out there and work in that garden. Do something productive. Do something positive. Don't be spending all your time going, oh no, do you see what's happening in Iraq? Do you hear what Obama's doing? <sighs> Forget that, man. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your people. And uh, I will see you out there.